Are you constantly getting lost? Do you want to be like Dallium YD and locate lost valuables? Man versus river, man plus river, man versus river. Well, I've got good news for you. Patty has a specialty for you, and that is underwater navigation. My name is Jason, this is Inspire Scuba, and today we will be discussing the underwater navigation specialty. Without further ado, let's dive in. So, what is underwater navigation? Underwater navigation is the use of tools and the natural environment to figure your way from point A to point B. While a lot of your navigation will be underwater, many of these skills are also applicable above on the surface. Tools you will be using will include the compass, SMB or surface marker buoy, mooring lines as well as dive lights and surface lights if you are diving at night. Environmental navigation or natural navigation, another specialty that we'll go over in a future video, involves taking clues from your environment and things around you and keeping you on the right track without getting lost going to and from dive sites. Pair this with the above tools and you will never get lost. Knock on wood. What should you expect to learn? When you take the course you will do skills on the surface because when using a compass it applies both on land and underwater. You're going to want to keep it flat and you're going to want to orient yourself with the bezel and be able to read the headings. On the surface you'll do a couple drills while you're blindfolded or have like a towel draped over your head in a wide open area so you get a feel of what you'll be doing when you're actually under the water. They'll teach you various patterns such as the triangle pattern, the uh, what is it, the square pattern and the out and back. These are all very simple patterns and they're designed to get you to and from dive spots with ease and to make sure that you're able to get back to where you started with a reciprocal heading without getting lost. You'll also go more in depth into natural navigation which again, that's just using clues from your environment. They will, they will go over things like how to use specific patterns in the sand to help keep you oriented, uh, rock features, even wildlife can be indicators of where you are. Sometimes natural navigation can be as simple as keeping a wall to your left at all times or say a wreck to your left at all times. The idea is to keep things simple. Once you have all the patterns down and you understand the concepts through the book work and on the surface, you and your instructor will go down for a minimum of two dives. You'll be expected to demonstrate these patterns and set a heading, hit each point, and then return where you started. You will also be expected to do at least one navi natural navigation dive in which you just use features without the compass to figure a way around a dive site. What are the requirements? Just about anyone can take this specialty. You need to be at least 10 years of age and at least have your junior open water certification. So if you're an adult and you have your open water, you are absolutely capable of taking this course. You will also need your regular scuba equipment, but you'll also need a dive compass. This compass is capable of going to depth without breaking. Oftentimes these compasses will have water in them to mitigate the pressure changes unlike a surface compass which is usually just magnets and I don't know magic I guess. You tell me what's in a regular compass. For learning purposes renting is okay but having a compass in your dive locker is absolutely essential if you plan on diving a lot, especially if you're diving in locations that you aren't typically diving. So if you go on vacation two or three times a year, you know, I wish, right? Then having a compass on you at all times, absolutely invaluable. A slate is also recommended because it allows you to keep track of your headings as well as specific locations and points of interest when you are doing natural navigation. So, how much does it cost? Currently the Patty website has it listed at $125 and frankly for that price and the skill set that it puts under your belt, it is absolutely priceless and something that 
you should definitely go for. I would put it in top tier in terms of specialties that you can learn and maybe at one point I'll do a actual video where I break down the specialties and which one specifically you should go for first. But this is definitely within the top three. I just wanted to close by saying that taking underwater navigation is absolutely well worth your time and money. It is definitely top tier in terms of specialties. It goes hand in hand with other specialties like search and rescue and search and recovery. So if you were wanting to, you know, be one of those big YouTubers who go out and find all these lost gear and they're making everybody happy, you know, this is definitely something to have under your belt. It helps keep you safe and people around you safe. Whether it's an emergency or making life just a little bit easier, it's definitely a skill worth having. So there you have it. That is our primer on underwater navigation. If this video brought you value, go ahead and smack that like button and gently caress that subscribe button. Ugh, why am I like this? Anyways, bye.